What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another sick and lit edition of Wrestle Shades and Natural Selection. We're back in the building tonight for recap, reaction, shits, and giggles to Monday Night Raw, as I call it, Monday Night Shade. We start off the show with Drew McIntyre in the middle of the ring, and he posed a question to us. Do you guys really know me like you think you know me, okay? I guess everyone's feeling a certain way after what happened last week. I have been the same person this entire time. If you're a fan of Drew McIntyre, I don't have to explain myself. If you've turned on me, then that's on you. You were never a fan in the first place. I've been the same person this whole time. You guys have been able to see my career for a damn near 15 plus years, bitch. And you guys literally have the audacity to think I have joined the Judgment Day, bitch. No, I haven't joined Judgment Day, but however... You clearly don't know me very well after all these years. No, I have not joined the Judgment Day. I will be on their team in War Games, so... For War Games, I will be on their team. Team bit because Rhea Ripley is gonna give me Jay Uso in a steel cage. This is what I want, this is what I need. It's clearly given Drew McIntyre sacrifice being in the US, being away from his family to chase a dream. And at Crown Jewel, I think it was that event, Crown Jewel. Because Rhea Ripley gave me something that nobody else could give me in the world Jay Uso in a cage. He mentioned some event that he was at that Jay Uso and the Jay Uso squadron cost him the belt. And so he's pretty much given eye for an eye, bitch, sacrifice for a sacrifice. Your ass belongs to me! Get out of here! Jay comes out giving, you need to drop it, you need to let it go. I am the Yeet God. Anytime I say Yeet. You did cost me a tag title last week. So how about you catch this beat down? Excuse me, I mean Yeet down. And before you knew it, Drew McIntyre and Jay was going to get into it. Uh, Drew McIntyre had some backup, had some uh, Judgment Day protection plan going on there. And if you want Drew McIntyre to catch this Yeet down, let me hear you say Yeet. And before you knew it, bitch, Cody Rose came out, Sami Zayn came out. And who else was it? Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins came out. So it's pretty much given the same thing that the women is happening to the women's roster over on SmackDown with the return of Becky Lynch uh, and their um, War Games match. It's pretty much giving the same thing for the guys. Enough, no, we are not doing this tonight because last time I checked, War Games is on Saturday. So we got Jay Uso, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Cody Rose having to find a fifth member to go against the Judgment Day with Drew McIntyre at War Games, bitch. Survivor Series coming up this Saturday. So. Drew McIntyre is a member of the Judgment Day War Games team, which means you four need to pick a fifth team member. Drew McIntyre is not a part of the Judgment Day, but bitch, is he helping them? Yes, he is. And you need to do it by the end of tonight. So you guys, I'm still a little bit confused on this whole advantage match. Okay, we had Michael Cole come out and explain the advantage match, but I'm still a little confused. I'm guessing this match is going to give whichever teams that wins this match the advantage in the upcoming match. I don't know. Michael Cole didn't even know how to really explain it his goddamn self. So still a little confused about that. Second piece of business. By 9 o'clock, I'll say it again. By 9 o'clock tonight, I need to know which member of each of these teams and i'm talking one-on-one -on -one is gonna fight in this advantage match i'll say it again one on one no outside interference no shit again against fair and square you have until nine o'clock gentlemen the clock is ticking you pick or i'll pick for you mother yams nia Jax had a match between raquel rodriguez they had a pretty good match uh nia Jax, dominant and very smart in this match taking out raquel rodriguez's back Network. 
damn, she tried. You know what? Raquel gonna come back stronger though and harder. She gonna come back like better than ever. Uh, you know, Raquel Rodriguez, she do a lot of power lifting and things like that. And she tried to pick Nia Jax up three times, could not pick her up. And Nia Jax hit that ass with the Annihilator. Not once, but twice. I want to say three times the lady. But anyway, Nia Jax victorious in this match. We should have all discussed this together. I get it. That's what I'm saying. I just want us all to be on the same page. Now, speaking of Drew, where's the big man? So while we wait, just figure I'd let you know that I think it should be me in the advantage match. Actually, like you just said, we need to discuss this all together. That's so right. Drew, and then we'll decide. Yes, Rhea. Where's your guy? You said he was going to come. Hey, speak of the devil. So I hear you want to have the advantage match. Well, that's what Priest wants, and he is the leader at War Games, so. I was just thinking, you know, instead of Damian Priest in the match, we have Drew McIntyre. I don't like any of you guys. Damn. But I despise Gio so. How about you take it easy? I tell people to take it easy. You're taking it easy right now, are you? Shout out to Razor right. Ramon. Show your worth. Go get us the advantage. Yes. Now that's leadership. Call Bim Yam. Okay, Becky Lynch had a match with Zaya Lee, Spicy Zaya Bitch. That was over. That was cute. And it was pretty much given a hard fought match. They were given. Like, back and forth. Like, the match could have went either way. I actually thought that Zaya was going to win, but... Oh! 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 Zaya Lee counted the shit out of that. What? Becky Lynch remained victorious. Uh, when I saw the referee clearly not count her out when she was out of the ring, he went to go check on her instead of starting to count her ass out. I knew that Becky Lynch was going to win this match. Okay, period. Okay. Pop. <laughs> what happened, Becky? Ooh. Tossed her ass clean out them ropes. But the get you gotcha here, the gagger is, is what happened after the match. How Damage Control came walking down to the ring, I guess, to try to intimidate uh, Becky Lynch. Or maybe try to get Zia Lee to join the squad, bitch. That's right, Michael Cole. To join the squad, bitch, that would be hot, but anywho, uh, I saw Charlotte's rhinestones in the background, bitch, sneaking up on damage control, bitch. Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Shotzi, and uh, Be uh, Becky Lynch was already in the ring. And, bitch, I don't know why Shotzi didn't get the memo, but Shotzi came out in all red, and all the other girls had them all black. I was just... Shotzi didn't get the memo. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed! I'm pissed about that. Shotzi. <sighs> oh, we got Johnny Gargano and Kaiser in a match here. Hopefully, this match will lead into the segment of uh, Gunther and The Miz. But, just got to talk about a segment earlier on that happened uh, in the show when we had Cody Rhodes. Sami Zayn, Jay Uso, and Seth Rollins all backstage in a green room trying to discuss who was going to face Drew McIntyre in the advantage ma <laughs> advantage excuse me advantage match and also who that fifth member of their team was going to be for War Games and I did not want this to happen but it looks like they're probably going to go to get Kevin Owens I'm really not sure but it looks like that's who they're gonna get and also too um i just think it's interesting how we had drew mcintyre start off the show saying how he wanted jay and how jay came out and they really didn't like initiate enough beef to put them in a match but yet they're gonna be in the advantage match versus each other i i don't know hopefully drew mcintyre will win this match because if you don't he will be made to look real dumb in front of the Judgment Day bitch, and if Jay don't win, he's gonna be made to look real dumb for Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins initially wanted this, you know, to be the one to front run this advantage match.
boom. Mad respect to Gunther. Mad respect to the Miz. But baby, that segment, Gunther punished the Miz once again. Comparing Miz to the regular, regular people in the audience, bitch. Telling Miz that he will never be anything better. He will never be anything greater. He will never be anything more than just Miz Mazan and bitch. The little boy who always wanted and aspire to be a WWE superstar, bitch. I, 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 I. You're just the entertainer. You're actually saying that is a negative. I am an entertainer and I am proud of it. I'm a WWE superstar because I get it done inside the ring and out. You. Key. Because who I'm really facing on Saturday is someone that is exactly like everybody else in this building here. And little is. Mike Missanen. Some little weirdo that got bullied in high school because he idolized all those heroes that you just named. It was just a slap in the face to me on so many levels because, bitch, you're literally in the ring going back and forth. This segment, you're in this segment with a actual superstar. <laughs> you're just weak and simple and insecure like little Mike. I think... You haven't been bullied enough. You wanna be, huh? Wow! Randy's back! Randy's back! No. Yeah, I uh, reached out and tried to work out. Nothing for you either? Oh no. He picked up. We're in business. So he's in? He's in. Who? He's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, that's just today. Oh, shit. Uh, Cody, Sammy, Seth with them fucking glasses. Thank you. Oh, they got steel chairs, bitch. Look at Seth in the fucking designer shoes, can't even run. That's what he can't even get in the ring good. Somebody come get Bootsy Rollins. Because we were not alone. We found a fifth member. Somebody that I have a legacy with. Whoa! Oh, Cause that ain't Kevin Owens. That way you're looking at me like I'm praying, like we're praying. Did you not know with us? But bitch, if he's talking about Randy Orton coming back tonight, hashtag War Games, hashtag Russell Shade TNS. Is he coming out? Why y'all leave us hanging like that, bitch? I thought the music was gonna drop and bitch, he was gonna make an appearance. Are they saving it for War Games? He's not gonna make his appearance to War Games. Wow. So yeah, everybody's gonna be tuning in from here until, bitch. Like, Cody Rose didn't have to sock it to us like that. But I'm glad he did, okay? Hit me up for your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to be updated and notified on when I upload more content such as this. Bitch, Randy Orton is back. And Randy Orton will be the fifth teammate for Survivor Series War Games against Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre. How fitting!
for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research, is not an infringement of copyright.